What's up guys, my name is Jerry and today's video is going to be on the Dallas Mavericks and we're going to be talking about how they're finding success against the Phoenix Suns and we're going to jump right into the video. Now we've seen the Dallas Mavericks fall down 0-2 to the Phoenix Suns and we, they weren't really looking like the team we were accustomed to seeing. They were very lackadaisical on the defensive side of the ball and the Phoenix Suns were really getting whatever they want. And then Jason Kidd, he said, them, he said this himself and then we also noticed this as NBA fans that Luke Doncic wasn't getting any help. He was the only one showing up to the party and none of, none of his other guys <laughs> would join him. But in games three and four, that has changed. But more importantly, I think we have to talk about the style of offense that, that the Dallas Mavericks are playing right now because it's very, very hard to guard. And it doesn't really matter <laughs> If you have the number one ranked defense in the league or if you have the 30th ranked defense in the league and the only reason that that doesn't matter is because the Dallas Mavericks have Luka Doncic navigating this offense and the offense that they run is very simple it's a five out offense everybody on the court can hit the three-point shot and then they might they might mix up they might mix it up with some off ball screens every now and then but most of it is Luka Doncic mismatch hit um, mismatch hunting or he's or he's running that pick and roll to perfection and it's really tough it's a really tough job for monty williams and the phoenix suns because every single time is going to be a pick your poison type of situation because luka Doncic has mastered the offensive side of basketball and he just knows how to manipulate the game so he can literally at any time get any mismatch he want and if you run the switch everything he's just going to find that big or he's going to find that guy that's too little that can't play defense or if you're just going to guard the pick and roll with your center plan the plan the drive or in the drop coverage he's going to pick that apart because now with Luka Doncic, he's good. He's good at going horizontally, and he's good at going vertically. So he can get up and down the court just as well as he can move side to side. So when he's attacking with a full head of steam, it just put a guy like DeAndre Ayton or JaVale McGee. It pissed him in a very tough. It pissed him in a tip, a very tough spot because he can, he's a guy that can get to the lane. He got the floater, and then the, the hardest, the part that makes it so hard, is just how good of a playmaker he is because Luka Doncic is he's a magic johnson lebron james chris top chris paul he's on their level when it comes to making plays so when he's when he got it going like that as that big and make it so hard do i want to step up and play luka Doncic, or do i want to play this lob and let fluka get and let luka get off that that floater so when it comes to that then that, that makes the that makes it very hard to to guard the dallas mavericks because now that the way that this roster is constructed it's nothing but three-point shooters around Luka Doncic. So if you double-team him too hard or if you play him too hard, he's a good enough of a passer to hit those wide-open threes. And we've seen the Dallas Mavericks in game four. They made 20-plus threes. So Luka Doncic, this guy is a matchup. He's a matchup. He's a matchup nightmare. And I think he's probably the hardest guy in the NBA to figure out because there's nothing you can do. You either... You can't double team him because he's so good of a passer and he has such good patience and you can't play him one-on-one -on -one because he's just so shifty and then he's so strong and then he has the post work. So Luka Doncic, he's going to be a tough guy. It's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of years before the NBA can figure him out. And right now he's the leading scorer in NBA history when it comes to playoff points. He has the highest average. So Luka Doncic is that dude. And then when Luka is playing like that, and he can have the others step up, and especially when the when the others are Jalen Brunson and Spencer Dinwiddie, that is huge for the Dallas Mavericks. And when you look at the box score, you look at their numbers, they might have not have been that efficient. They, are, they, they probably didn't shoot over 50% from the field, but the style of play that the others brought and Luka Doncic too, Jalen Brunson, Spencer Dinwiddie, they play really aggressive, and that aggressive led to the Phoenix Suns getting in foul trouble. Um, Chris Paul tonight, and I know a lot of his calls were questionable, but he was made, he was forced to guard. Jalen Brunson attacked him when he could. Luka Doncic attack, attacked him when he could, and so did Spencer Dinwiddie. But Jalen Brunson, when he plays like that, the way that he played tonight when he has the ball in his hands, getting to his spots, getting to the mid-range, getting to that unstoppable floater that he has when he pitches back to the basket, and that's probably my favorite thing about Jalen Brunson is his size and strength as a guard. It kind of reminds me of something like Chauncey Billups, an older traditional guard that will use his strength to his advantage against smaller guards in the post. And that's what we see Jalen Brunson do. He's posting up and hey, you put Cameron Payne on him or Chris Paul, Landry Shamit, Devin Booker. He's going to post those guys up because they're just not as strong as him. And then also him, him just like Luka Doncic 
he can he's a great playmaker he gets under involved and then also he can play off the ball you cannot leave him wide open because he's going to hit his catch and shoot threes and this is really what makes the dallas mavericks so dangerous they now have three guys that can navigate that that five out offense and it's really dangerous they got Jalen Brunson, who's done a good job at running the system whenever Luka is off the ball or off the court. Jay, um, Luka Doncic, he's, mad, he's mastered the five out. I've never seen nobody really run it like that. It's kind of James Harden-esque, the way he's he's playing the offense right now. And then Spencer Dinwiddie can also navigate that that five out offense. And the way he, actually the way he does it is kind of, um, it's kind of catered for the five out. The five out, you want to get um, rim, 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 rim penetration from the guy with the ball handler and you want to kick it out to to the open shooter and Spencer Dinwiddie does such a great job at keeping constant pressure on the defense forcing bigs to help and I'm telling you I say this all the time in my Dallas Mavericks video um whenever Spencer did whenever Spencer Dinwiddie is making up his mind being aggressive that he's going to get to the rim that's when he's been that's when that's when the offense is the most dangerous for the Dallas Mavericks whenever he's on the court because now it's forcing the defense to react it's forcing guys to help and leave their man, or it's forcing the guy that's, the, that's guarding Ben Witty to sag off of him, and now he can rip him up into his jump shot. So with the way that he has been playing, uh, just that aggression, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And then also, they've been getting a lot of help from their role players. Um, everybody is hitting their, hitting their shots now, and Maxi Kleber, the way he's been shooting that trade ball since the playoffs have started has really been ridiculous. Um, he has a flamethrower, and he cannot miss. He's hitting it from the corner. He's hitting it from the wing. From the wing, he's getting so much confidence in his game. I seen him punk fake one dribble into the pull up. I seen him punk fake take two dribbles, get into the lane for the finger roll, and all this confidence, that type of confidence, is flowing throughout this whole team right now. We see Reggie Bullock. Every shot he shoot it, he shoot it like it's going in, no hesitation. It's a quick, high, elevated release. And then Dorian Finley Smith, you have to be so impressed with him since he's coming to the league. He came into the league as as a defender, as a rebounder, and he's really expanded his offensive game. He now shoots the trade ball for like 38, 38 for he shot at 38% in the regular season, which I believe is a career high for him. And he's just came a he's just come a long way as an offensive player, but he hits every three he hits is in a timely fashion. It, it, it gets the crowd hype. He hit um he hit a lot of threes today that just um or I should say he had a couple of threes today that just uplifted the crowd. So all these guys on the on the Dallas Mavericks, they finally showed up and helped Luka Doncic because we all know we're going to get 30 points. We're going to get 35 from Luka. He's going to give you nine, eight assists with it. He's going to give you 10 rebounds. It's, it's about the other guys coming along for the ride, and we've seen that in game three, games three and four. And now we have ourselves another dog fight. It's not at that 2-2. Two -two. It's back to basically zero to zero. So this is a pretty good series we got on our hands. I've been enjoying it, enjoying it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Comment down below which, how you think the Dallas Mavericks are being so successful against the Phoenix Suns. And then subscribe. Subscribe for more weekly content. We do this all the time, man. And that's courage.